Welcome back to the 10th episode of Subject Matters. I'm Cameron. And I'm Shayna. <laughs> and this is our show. Yay! Woo! We made it to 10 episodes, and we're doing something very exciting today. I feel like 10 episodes is a good, like, mini milestone for us. It's a good place to stop. That's it. <laughs> yeah, no more episodes. <laughs> after the last one. No, we're going to obviously do more episodes after this. Mm -hmm. uh, so I have something fun for us today. I'm pretty sure I mentioned it in one episode of Subject Matters, but I don't really know what episode it was or if I even did say it. But in one episode of Subject Matters, I mentioned how I think Dunkin' Donuts water tastes just like their food, and it is my least favorite water. So today I got Dunkin' Donuts water and McDonald's water, because McDonald's water is my favorite water. Uh, but Dunkin' Donuts is my least favorite. So we're going to be trying both of them, and Shane is going to tell me if she thinks what I say is true, that Dunkin' Donuts water tastes just like their food, and that McDonald's water is the best of all water. There's a water taste test today. Yeah. So first we're going to try the Dunkin' Donuts water. You can go first. You already know. That's your least favorite water. Oh, that was weird. <laughs> <laughs> like, I'll drip back in. Ew. It tastes like the food. Tastes like plastic to me. <laughs> plastic? That ain't it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, There's probably so much audio of that. Like, <laughs> well, you keep drinking it. Are you? <laughs> are you just make? Are you swishing it around your palate? In my palate? Yeah. Well, you know, there's that one H3H3 video where they try different drinks and they never actually swallow it. They just slosh it around. And then they spit it into a yeah, uh, they bowl. Yeah, they were trying um, sodas, though. Like, yeah, Why are we trying water? Why don't we try, like, sodas? That's what I was saying. And I'm like, you probably should have gotten more than just two waters. <laughs> yeah, but it's my favorite and least favorite. It's okay, 50, you want to try this 50, one first? All right. That's a good water. I know, right? That's a good water. <laughs> I also have my own water with me. It's always fresh. It doesn't taste like the food. Fresh water. <laughs> <laughs> now that's Freshly fresh water. water. <laughs> um, I guess you can have one of these waters. I don't know what to I'll do with them the now. I'll take the Dunkin' one, I guess, because that's your least favorite. But yeah. Now that you, that water tastes You have the McDonald's over. straw with the Dunkin' cup. I know. Do you have a lid for this? Can I? There is. I took it off since we were trying them. Um, but now it's settled after a minute and a half into the podcast. <laughs> after a minute of discussion, <laughs> we decided Dunkin' water tastes like plastic. But and I'm McDonald's water is the best. Non-spons. <laughs> <laughs> um, so you had other things planned for the podcast too. What were they? Um, well, there's a few, there's a few things I had down for this podcast. One of the most interesting things that I have. No, I don't, what am I kidding? Most interesting. <laughs> <laughs> it's probably One of not them, even. Like I have other assets. It's probably not even interesting. But um, I heard I called it an unnamed source because I don't really know if this is reliable. But I heard that uh, Law, like Mr. Thompson and Law, is trying to dissociate from Eagles being the mascot. Why? Because they want to be just the Lawmen. But that's of what the they Eagles. were before. They changed it because it wasn't, I think if, they changed it because it wasn't gender inclusive and then they're like, mm. If If we were just the Eagles, then a lot of things would have to be changed. Yeah, the Lawman I News. <laughs> <laughs> the Lawman I News. Lawman Daily Maybe Report. Maybe it would be like the Lawman Report. The Lawman Report? Uh, well, you know, the girls basketball teams are called the Lady Lawman. Yeah, I mean. That's kind of weird. I suppose. It works, but why did we change it not that long ago to just have it come back? Well, I found this out because um, I heard that the the eagle in the new gym in the middle was supposed to be taken out. No. Yeah. Johnny, <laughs> know, right? Johnny the Eagle. <laughs> Didn't they do like a thing where they renamed the eagle a couple years ago and then everyone just voted Johnny and they're like, oh, okay. It's so like Jonathan Law. They're like, yeah, we could have guessed. <laughs> <laughs> you could have just done that on your own. I know. <laughs> Like, Phil the Eagle. <laughs> Alfred the Eagle. Jake. <laughs> Jake the Eagle. Um, I don't know why they decided to go with uh, Johnny. It's a, the world's mystery, but... 
Johnny. No. Well, they went with it because it's Jonathan Law. No, really. Oh, you were being sarcastic. <laughs> Whoops. I think that's weird, though. Uh, I like the eagle. I think that... Um, I've never, like, called myself an eagle, though, so I guess that that makes sense. I... I mean, yeah, because um, Mr. Beeler has... All of our merch is lawman merch. It's Mr. Beeler has set with the track so much that it's like, he's, he always says it's a great day to be a lawman. Mm -hmm. It's a great day to be an eagle. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like that would be weird to say. <laughs> Skies are clear, great day to be an eagle. <laughs> uh, sun's out, <laughs> eagle's out. <laughs> I'm just going to start saying that. I'm just like in the car looking at the sky with Do you have Mr. Beeler? Me. I do. You should say it's a great day to be an eagle and see what day he to says. Be an eagle. I just like longingly looking out a window and I'm like, it's a great day to be an eagle. <laughs> How to weird out whoever's driving you. Ah, it's a great day to be an eagle. <laughs> then when they ask about it, just pretend you didn't. You're like, huh? Oh, I don't know. What? <laughs> what did you say? <laughs> it's a great day to be an eagle. <laughs> Sorry, I don't. I don't recall. But um, I brought up the lady lawman and there's something I have. Uh, I went to the foreign basketball game that was like last week. That was kind of an intense game. But I don't understand how some people get so like aggressive, I guess, towards the other team. They get real worked up. Like, yeah, like, like, not, not, like not like physically team. aggressive, but like verbally aggressive. Not on the other team or like people. Well, one thing like that really. St one, um, like people in the stands. That's weird. One thing that really stood out to me was. um. You know how the students for the basketball games sit behind the team? Yeah. And on the law side, it was, like, filled with students because it was at law, so a lot of kids couldn't make it. And it was foreign, was taking a foul shot, and all the kids behind the team were, boo! Jesus. And I was like, oh, my God. That's so That's rude. intense. That's kind of, like, real messed up. Mm. Like. And one of the things that I, like, always think that I, like, would never do is... You can clap when your team does something good, but when the other team messes up, you shouldn't clap. I feel like, you know? <laughs> That's petty. Well, <laughs> you just, great yeah. job, Warren. Great job. Yeah. Like, you clap when the other team messes up. I feel like that's just weird to do. That does seem weird. Like, in, like even in a general, like, like if for, like, football or whatever, they're like, I've seen, I, I was talking about this the other day, and I'm like, I don't understand why people get so worked up over sports. I mean, like, yeah. I just, I just don't get it. Mm. Like, you're not playing. You don't know anyone there. You're just like, I like this dude because he good. <laughs> he good. <laughs> he That's good. like when um people are like, oh, man, like uh for football, national football, like, oh, my team's doing good. It's not your team. <laughs> it's <laughs> a just, team you like. <laughs> I know. That. I'm like, this guy's never even heard of you. <laughs> like, I think it's, it's. Like cool that you have a following. Wow. Uh, sorry, I don't. I don't. Having a good mic. I don't, then, I don't huh? know if that picked up, but I totally just like almost knocked over the mic. <laughs> Yanked the mic. <laughs> but um, I don't know. Like, I get the loyalty type thing, but like, there's a lot of football teams. I feel like there's too many. There's like multiple from each state, or like New England. I think the Patriots. Where are they from? Are they from Massachusetts? Uh, one of the teams that's New England, I think, is supposed to be more New Jersey. Yeah, because, like, it's weird because, like, the New England Patriots, like, they don't have a spot, but then there's also the New York Giants and other teams that I don't know because I don't follow football, but, like, um, there just <laughs> seems to be a lot. There's there too is a many. lot. I, uh, I used to have this, like, little set that was um, <clears throat> all the football teams, all the helmets, like, just the helmets. They were really tiny. They were, like, I don't know, the size of, like, a golf ball. And I would, I would like, set them all up, and I would be like, there's so many. I didn't say that, but, like, it was weird. It, you know? Yeah. Uh, this funny thing happened to me the other day. Um, after, it was after the third period midterm, I had calc, and me, Michelle, Jocelyn, uh, me, Michelle, Montes, Jocelyn Fung, Monica Pity Patty, and Natalia Williams, we went to... What's that place called? The Bridgeport Flyer. Mm -hmm. And you know how you pay at the front? Mm -hmm. I went up to pay, and I was wearing my senior sweatshirt. And the girl who was behind the register, she's like, Senior? You're not a senior. And I'm like, oh, well, I am at Jonathan Law. And she's like, oh, I thought it meant senior citizen. <laughs> <laughs> what? 
Like, I'm just wearing a switch that says <laughs> seniors on it. Yeah, I'm, I'm over 50. <laughs> yeah, uh, I'm Nettis. 75. <laughs> You're not a also, senior. Also, did she think that old people just wear shirts and say they're a senior to get the <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I'm, I'm a senior too. citizen. <laughs> And I'm wearing my senior citizen merch to to prove it. Oh my god. The, oh yeah, you're a senior. Well, where's your senior citizen merch? <laughs> okay, step it up, grandma. It was so weird. I don't know. I like I walked back and I was like, why would she say that? <laughs> why would you think that I'm wearing a sweatshirt. You're also wearing, it says Jonathan Law on the back, so... Yeah, it was really... Classic 2019. It was just really weird. Like, imagine, like... Having a weird day. Imagine, like, uh, you give, like, one of your grandparents a sweatshirt <laughs> that just says senior citizen on it. <laughs> just to make sure you're <laughs> identifiable, you know? <laughs> I mean, that would kind of, I guess, uh, be good in one scenario that I can think of that's very, like, specific. Because I work for, um... I work doing the scoreboard at basketball games, and the price it costs to get into the games, and for adults is a certain price, and for children and senior citizens it's a certain price. And that's like, well, where's the age difference between like an adult and a senior citizen? I think for the most part, it, like it's for, based on yeah, like, a for, trust system. For kids, you just kind of eye it. <laughs> You're like, I don't know, you look like 12, so. <laughs> <laughs> um, this is like a separate thing, but it's also like, a related incident. Um, <laughs> I I was at work and I work at that taco place. And taco time. Yeah, and um, some girl came in and she was wearing her coat when she came in and she ordered and then she went to go sit down and her dad ordered and then they sat down and then as they were leaving, um, the girl came up to the counter and she was like shyly walking with her dad and then he's like, oh, she just wanted to show you her shirt and he, she was wearing a shirt that said like, I love tacos and I was like, oh, that's so cute because uh -huh. she was probably like nine or ten <clears throat> but it was so sweet and she's like, yeah, she just wanted to show you her shirt and, I, and they're like, yeah, it's what inspired us to come here and I was like, thanks, I mean, thanks, I also girl. love tacos. I also love tacos. I wish I had a shirt that said I love tacos. I'll find one. One of my <laughs> folders has just a bunch of tacos on it. I love that. I use that one for Latin, because I, I, I would associate it with, like, Spanish, but I don't take Spanish, so I just took um, it with Latin. I love tacos, but I also don't like buying things that say that I do. <laughs> Especially now that it's like I'm working with them. So it's yeah. like, I'll wear my I Heart Tacos shirt. Are you, like, obsessed like, with tacos or something? Like, <laughs> don't worry about it. But, like, <laughs> like, you go to Forever 21, and you'll find, like, a cool sweatshirt. And then you, like, pull it off the rack, and it's like, I love tacos. And, like, I love tacos. I know it says, like, love in, like, the bold font. And you're like, ooh. <laughs> it's, like a, it's like, um, like, a. New York City, I, there's the I, I Heart New, New York. York, and uh, the heart is known as like an apple for like the big apple. It's like yeah. I Taco Tacos. <laughs> <laughs> the ta it's two tacos in the shape of a heart. <laughs> I bet that that's a thing. Let me look into it. Let me start with the next topic. <laughs> mm. I, I, can't believe I Taco is, Tacos. I can't believe that this is going to be my search history, just I Heart Tacos. That would be so funny. The tacos are in the shape of a heart. <laughs> it's not loading, but whatever. Oh, um, my God. Yeah, I think that I don't really like the shirts that have words on them that, like, uh, aren't brand related. They're just, like, <clears throat> what are they called? Graphic tees? Is that what it is? Yeah, I think so. Where they're, like, the words are printed on them? I could be entirely wrong. I like graphic tees, but not ones that are like that. Like, ones that have, like... Pictures I on it. I like ones that describe me as a person. Well, I have that yeah. one uh, that I got for like $4 at Hot Topic. Taco Tuesday? No. <laughs> no, I don't even remember where I got I think I got that oh, Gap. Oh, yeah. I, think your, I thought your mom bought that for you. Well, I was with her when we bought oh, it. Oh, okay. But um, I have this one at Hot to for, that I got from Hot Topic. It has like a, a big heart that's <laughs> like... I Heart New York. <laughs> no, it's a big heart. And it kind of, it may have like pixels and it kind of like spins it into itself with smaller oh, hearts yeah. spinning in. And uh, this is hard to describe, but it's like I a rainbow and it says stay woke. Oh yeah, I remember you. <laughs> I love that shirt. Um, I'm but a I don't. i ironic tees from now on. Um, <clears throat> I had something else to say, but I don't remember. I taco tacos. I taco tacos. Um, here was something fun. So, uh, I um, 
Kristen asked me a few days ago if I could help her find some new apps, like games to play. And I was going through my old purchase history and I was downloading some of the uh, apps that I found. And then I found one that I totally forgot I had. It was <clears throat> a video maker to make videos for like a song. Like, remember the Kiki Challenge? Yeah. But it wasn't the Kiki Challenge. It was the Harlem Shake. Oh, no. <laughs> it was an app to make Harlem <laughs> Shake videos. Honestly, that was the best. That was the peak <clears throat> of the internet, to oh, be honest. Oh, my God, the Harlem Shake. The that was so weird. That was, that was like so weird, but at the same time, like... Jumping back to what we've talked about it on at least three different podcasts, that was the best YouTube rewind, and you can't convince me otherwise. <laughs> Do the Harlem Shake. That was such a nice time on the internet. To be honest. It was just yeah, like, I remember. It was just fun. I remember two specific times when I made Harlem Shake videos. One of them was <clears throat> I was on the stairs in front of the gym at Parsons, <laughs> and I was with like four other people. Another time was when I, it was with. <laughs> One of the Girl Scout troops in front of Stop and Shop. <laughs> what? Did you just come up to them? No, my sister was like oh. with them. <laughs> but it's funnier if I don't say that. <laughs> it's also funnier because like I'm not picturing you when you were like like 12. I'm picturing you now. <laughs> just drinking <laughs> the Harlem Shake. <coughs> um, wow, that was hefty. <laughs> but yeah, I thought the Harlem Shake and... Um, wow, I I wrote down a lot of things during the, um, basketball game. I just found one that was, um, I know I wrote it because it was during the National Anthem, not during the National Anthem, <laughs> I but was just on your phone. <laughs> it was after the National Anthem, because I was thinking, like, when you do the National Anthem, you stand, put your, uh, arm against your heart, this is like, you know, a lot of people do it, not everyone does it, but most people do, and, um, you... What I do, I try to do, but like I wonder, I was started wondering if you really have to do it. Stare directly at the flag <laughs> yeah. for the entire time, and I was like, like, "Well, do you really have to like look at the flag?" I mean, I suppose. But I, it's, it feels like culty, you know. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like I've actually I've made that point before. I'm like the pledge of allegiance, like when you look at it as like a not American person, <clears> like <throat> other countries don't do that. Yeah. Where like I pledge allegiance <laughs> to the flag. Yeah, it's like it's, it's like, like a... very like it's very ingrained in our brain, and we're like we're like uh, uh, pledging our undying loyalty yeah. to the flag, and it's kind of <clears> weird because they have kids do it. And, like, I've noticed a lot of kids, like, in our school don't do it anymore because it kind of just seems weird. You're like, uh, this is, like, a little sketch. But yeah. Like, um, no shade. <laughs> no shade to the Pledge of Allegiance. I'm not usually in class when it happens. I'm right over there in the newsroom mm -hmm. doing, like, the editing, or I'm sitting right here where I am right now talking on the news. Mm -hmm. I've actually never sat in that seat for the news. We'll just switch it up for a podcast. <laughs> <We're> just... <laughs> <coughs> but, yeah, I was, like... Do you have to stare at the American flag? You just gotta stare at it the whole time. I mean... Like, I know you shouldn't, like, talk during you it. You should, but, like, it's weird that you should. <laughs> that seems like an odd Wait. thing. Um, I was talking about... I just realized that we kind of messed it up during the national anthem. That's the song that's like, dun, dun, oh, dun, yeah. dun, and just stare at the flag in silence oh, okay. the whole the time. The Pledge of Allegiance is the same, but it's shorter. The yeah. national anthem, especially when they draw it out, you're like, <laughs> The Pledge of Allegiance <laughs> is just kind of like. Yeah, that's kind of quick. Yeah. But, um, <clears throat> but the Pledge of Allegiance is like almost two minutes. Yeah. No, it's probably a lot shorter. Really? Oh, oh, I meant the national anthem. Oh, I was like... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the, the <laughs> Pledge of Allegiance is like two minutes. It's like, it's like 30 seconds, man. <laughs> um, no, uh, the national anthem, it's like, especially when they draw it out a lot, you're just like, um... <laughs> yeah. Like, I start looking around and I'm like... Dun, oh, dun, dun, dun. <laughs> just staring. You don't blink. You're not allowed to blink. Like, during the football games... Uh, on the student side, you're really far from the flag, but I would just like try to keep my eyes on it the entire time. I know, I'm like, we're all looking at it, but I'm like, was there, did anyone ever tell us we had to do that? I don't, yeah, it's like, like weird. I think it's just something we do, but like, I, I don't know. Like, why? Why? <clears throat> <laughs> something fun that I did for, um, the eighth episode of, uh, Subject Matters was, did we record seven and eight were the ones that we had to change the I number? I think so. So for, for eight, 
um, I had to get a sound clip of eight because I recorded myself saying seven, filled it in for the seventh episode, which ended up sounding really weird, but it doesn't matter because yeah. it was you talking and then I filled in seven. <laughs> I know. But um, eighth, I uh, it was really late and I was in my bedroom and I, I couldn't record myself saying it because I had to say it really loud. I couldn't be like, eighth. But, um, so what I did was I found a song of counting, like, ordinal numbers. <laughs> so it was, like, first, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth. And I took the sound clip of eighth and I put it in the I episode. Didn't hear that. Like, was that you or me that said it? That, like, you um, over? I think it was, I think it was me. But it, so it, it was like, hey guys, welcome back to the eighth episode eighth. of Subjects Matters. Um, I noticed that like a lot of people have podcasts now, and we've kind of been like joking about it for like three years. A lot of people at like, law? No, just in general. There's like a million. Yeah, like um, I've said for a while that I've wanted a podcast, and I didn't really expect to be doing one for this class, uh, broadcast journalism. Take the class, it's fun. Um... <laughs> But yeah, I like having the podcast. I, I really enjoy it, but I did, like, someone that I barely know tagged me in a post, and it was something like, um, it was something like, oh, yeah, we all have a certain amount of something, or it's like, oh, having something is like having a podcast today, or whatever. And she's like, no shade, I really like your podcast, but, like, I just thought this was funny, so I hope you don't get mad at me. And I'm like, no, why would I be mad at you? I have a <laughs> podcast, I'm aware that everyone has one. Yeah. Well, uh, we're going to pause the podcast real quick because I have something to read out, but I left it in my car. Okay. So uh, it will be like one second for you guys, but it'll be like five minutes for us. Mm -hmm. Enjoy the break. <laughs> What's the... Um, we're back. Hey, what's up, you guys? Welcome back. <laughs> no. Okay, we're back now. Um, I got my stuff. So, most of this stuff that I have, there are a bunch of papers, drawings, stories from kindergarten, first and second grade. Not a lot from second, mostly kindergarten and first grade. But I have them, and I'm going to share most of the stories. And sometimes if we, like, laugh at some pictures, I'll try to put them up like in post when I'm editing. So, can I talk about this one? Oh yeah. That one fish theme is very common. So this one has, uh, yeah, what the heck is that? <laughs> <laughs> Not most, everyone drew a fish. Most of these I drew one singular fish with different hairstyles with just bubbles going up. I love it. Um, okay, so I'll read you a story now. <clears throat> Bunny rabbits are cute because the wrong kind of there. Their <laughs> eyes are cute. <laughs> they're also the they, wrong. Okay, all of these are the wrong kind of there. They're also cute because they are fluffy. Bunnies look like snow because their fur is white and fur is spelled F E R. <laughs> I wish I had a bunny so I can have a pet. Cute bunnies are the are the kind of bunnies I want, and kind is spelled C-I-N-E-D. <laughs> if I had a bunny, I would play with it. If I had a bunny, it would be brown. B-R-O-U-N. At, at, <laughs> okay, first of all, there in this case is spelled T-H-E-R-E. -E. And I also called the entire the entire mall Target because I used to think Target was the name of the mall. At Target, there is a pet store that has bunnies. Some of my friends have bunnies. I know some books about bunnies. <laughs> then ends. Cryptic. Wait, I want to read at least one of these, and just so I can try to interpret what you're trying to say. I'll I'll give you one of them to read. I know one of them that's like a little weird. <laughs> Actually, I'll just give you one of these. I haven't actually haven't read these, all of them. Oh, you can read that one. Okay. On the weekend, uh, this is a different story. On the weekend, I played baseball. I had so much fun at baseball. The field is, the field is called Conklin. 
<laughs> called C A L D. <laughs> when I when I was playing baseball, my sister was playing too. It was a long time at baseball. <laughs> I like baseball because when you hit the ball, it goes far. <laughs> if you get it really far, it is. Oh, I forgot about this. It is a uh, automatic home run. <laughs> automatic is spelled O D I M. A D I C K. <laughs> Automatic. No, it's like O Dim Madic. O Dim Madic. I bet my sister had so much fun at baseball. Her name is Ava June Asmussen. <laughs> that is what I did on my weekend. I love it. Okay, <laughs> this one is about when I lose a tooth. <laughs> okay. Oh, I love the illustration. <laughs> me. <laughs> the first reliable meme. <laughs> okay. When I lose a tooth, I'm really excited. I think it is good to lose a tooth because you get money. <laughs> <laughs> Where is that? M O N Y E. M O N Y E. <laughs> M-O-N-Y-E. Um, my mom says, when I lose a tooth, I get Webkins. You spelled Webkins right now. Because I used to, I, they used to take me to justice every time I lost a tooth to get a Webkins. My favorite thing about losing a tooth is the tooth fairy because they give you money. You spelled it right that time. <laughs> One time I lost a tooth. My dad threw, it was pop. Corn? Oh, he thought it was, oh, he thought it was mommy. I am happy when I lose a tooth. I already lost six teeth and got ten Webkins. That doesn't add up. <laughs> I am going to the dentist, T-E-S-T, um, uh, next week. Sometimes I am afraid to lose tooth. Um, that is what I like about losing a tooth. <laughs> So, That's what I like this. about losing a tooth is I'm afraid to lose a tooth. Okay, okay. I'm just looking at the illustration for this one. First of all, you can see my entire smile on my face, which indicates that my face is turned a bit. But the eyes are drawn as if it's from a side, so you only see one. It's just like a cyclops. And you're orange. <laughs> <laughs> also, on the computer, I don't know what it says. It looks like it says, like, Kapow. Kapow. And it says, you win. Oh, maybe, maybe it's, it's Kapow, Kapow, you win. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> I use a computer for playing Webkin's World. <laughs> Yesterday, I was playing on the computer, but then my friend came over. My sister had played on the computer one time, but it did not do anything. <laughs> I play on my dad's computer. Every day, every day I play on the computer when I get home. <laughs> After my dad is on the, com the computer, he lets me play. If I were to play on the computer for <laughs> an hour, I would play ten different games. Also, hour is spelled H-O-U-W-E-R. <laughs> hour? <laughs> After, my, after my homework, I play on the computer. I like to play on the computer because it is fun to... How many times did you say computer in this? <laughs> a lot. Oh, uh, okay, I'll read this one too. Today in school, I'm going to have fun. I'm going to have... Well, I wish I could say that now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to have fun at art. The last time we were at art, I had so much fun. <laughs> My sister does not have art ever. <laughs> I I always like her art because I think I do it at home. I think when I make something really good, my mom says, "Good job." <laughs> Last year I was in the art show. I think my art is still in the art show. <laughs> they just never give it back. I hope I am in the art show this year. I love using markers in class. That's no the correlation. Wait. Okay, some of these are funny because of the um, teacher's notes. Nice details, but remember to keep things organized and don't <laughs> jump from one topic to another. I love markers. Okay, here's a funny picture where it's three people. And one of them is me. It says, good morning. Hey, DJ. 
The next one this is my aunt. <laughs> she says good morning. And the last one is DJ and he says Cameron. <laughs> Hey, you want to read this You're one? You're not even facing DJ, sure. Don't don't read any of the teacher's notes unless they're funny. Just read. All right. <laughs> oh, my God. On my vacation, I want to my cousin's house. <laughs> <laughs> it took me two hours. Hours is spelled H-O-W-R-S-S. <laughs> to get there. Also, it took 120 minutes to get there. <laughs> At his house, we... Watch the B movie. When I came down the next morning, they were watching The Wild on the way home from my cousins. It took an hour and 20 minutes. You just keep saying how it took you two hours. I know. <laughs> or, uh, <laughs> we went to the beach behind BJ. BJ? Was that it? What? Was it we BJ? went to the beach behind. DJ. DJ, sorry. Uh, it says B. <laughs> BJ's house. Their names are DJ, Holly, uh... Haley. <laughs> yeah, man. <laughs> Holly <laughs> Killer? <laughs> what? It's Skyler. <laughs> it, does, it does say killer, but the S before it's really <laughs> faded. So it just says killer. <laughs> Killer. It's not spelled like that, but and I just spelled Brayden. it like that. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I love my twin cousins, Killer and Brayden. <laughs> their, moms, <laughs> their moms and dad's names are Sherry and Dave. That is what I did on my vacation. <laughs> 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 I'm still crying over killer. <laughs> killer and Brayden. Okay. Yeah, really okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. This one's about. It starts with I can help the earth. Okay. okay. I can help the earth by by not littering. My mom, <laughs> dad, sister, and I never litter. If you throw your garbage in the water, it will get dirty. I always throw my trash in the garbage. I can all... <laughs> the teacher corrected garbage, but it's not spelled wrong. <laughs> I, can, I can also... Also dirty. She's... I spelled dirty right. What the heck, teacher? Did you spell it right? Or did you spell it wrong and then she corrected you and you erased it? I don't know. Maybe. It? I can also help the earth by planting flowers. I never cut down flowers. People should never cut flowers anywhere. People should only cut flowers if they give them to their mom. I like getting flowers for my mom. That is how I can help the earth with and by. With and by. I don't know. I just ended with that for some reason. Deep. <laughs> okay. In, in this one... In the illustration for this one, it's a dentist, and it's me laying in the dentist chair. <laughs> and I'm laying in the dentist chair, and I'm labeled Brave Me. And I'm, brave say I'm me. saying I'm brave. And there's a dentist who is holding toothpaste. <laughs> she says, good boy. <laughs> and she's labeled as good dentist. And then my dad is sitting in a chair, <laughs> and he says, that's my boy. <laughs> You want to read, boy, you wanna read boy. this? Boy. <laughs> <laughs> my boy. Is he? Oh, his arm is so small. <laughs> That's my boy. There's nothing supporting him. <laughs> Anyways, when I go to the dentist, I get a toy after. I like to go to the dentist. One time, I went to the dentist two times. My dad and me both got a checkup. I like to go to the dentist because you also get a toothbrush. Every year I go to the dentist. One time I went there to go, I got a squashy ball and I named the squashy ball Gupper. <laughs> last, last time I went there, I got a yellow toothbrush. The toys are a little, are in a little treasure box. Wow. Good job, young Cameron. <laughs> That's my boy. What is even happening in this one? Uh, the library. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, what? <laughs> wait, what? When I go to the library, I read a lot. <laughs> I like to read because sometimes you learn, you, 
learn L-E-R-N things. One time when I went to the library, I found a rubber ducky book. I like the library <laughs> the because... Duck. Oh, uh, okay. I, had that book. Sorry, yeah. I like the library <laughs> because you get a lot of books. One time I got a many. Oh, one time I got a movie at the library. M O V I Y. <laughs> I only know two libraries in CT. <laughs> Reading is one of my favorite. <laughs> There's no elaboration on that. <laughs> Reading is one of my favorite. Things I love to learn stuff in books. If I go to the another library, I have to give the books back. That is what I do when I go to the library. <laughs> wow. What is this? Something that makes me feel good about myself is when I play on the computer. <laughs> I win. <laughs> Every morning I play on the computer. My favorite thing to play is Ben 10 Alien Force. Heck yeah, dude. <laughs> I also like to play Pokemon. My mom tells me when I can play. My dad lets me play on his computer. My dad's computer is gray and white. One day I put a... A... A preacher sure is supposed to say picture. So, a picture on my computer. P-I-C-H-E-R. Picture. Picture. <laughs> the cartoon I play is Cartoon Network. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm pretty sure I meant website, but I just called it a cartoon. The cartoon I play is CartoonNetwork.com. That is what I feel good about myself. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? What? Okay. Um... <laughs> this one, it's me and my mom. My mom says, Miss Gary is your sister. And I say, have a sister? And then it's me and Gary. <laughs> and I'm saying, Gary. And <laughs> Gary's <laughs> saying, Cameron. Wait. Your oh, sister. wait, no. It's not, it's not sister. It's sitter. Oh. oh, my mom and I talked about this. I didn't have a babysitter named Gary. <laughs> oh, what? That's so creepy. <laughs> also, Gary's a girl. <laughs> What was your sitter's name? Um, there was Emma, and there was... I can't remember the other one's name, but it wasn't Gary, because they were both Gary. girls. All right, so... Uh, when my parent go out, I stay with my babysitter. I like a babysitter. I like to have babysitter because they let you stay up late. Soon, I'm going to have another babysitter. <laughs> Gary got fired. <laughs> <laughs> I wish... Only night times I had a babysitter. My parents go for dinner when I have a babysitter. Or my mom and dad <laughs> both go out to work. I still have a babysitter. I know all of my babysitter names. <laughs> like, is this J like <laughs> Gary now? <laughs> Gary? G-E-R-E-Y? Ank, Kelsey, and Bulby <laughs> 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 Sitters. <laughs> <Bulby> sitters. <laughs> Let me watch TV until <laughs> my mom and dad get home. I play a lot of games with my babysitter that I want I do when I have a babysitter. <laughs> Finn. Is that it? Finn. Okay, that's that's, that's it. The... That's it for those stories. I love that your babysitter's name is Bulby. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know who Bulby is. <laughs> He's the dude from Jimmy Neutron. Yeah, I, I know that. That's, that's, that's it. I know that Bulby, that's but him. I don't know who I meant when I said Bulby. That's him. That's Bulby. Oh my god. You have a lot. I know. I didn't even know there was more. Oh, this one says much better, so we're not going to read that one. Um... <laughs> okay, okay. <clears throat> I take care of my body by eating healthy foods. Healthy. H -E I think any everything here is spelled H E L L L F Y. Elf. <laughs> healthy, like hell F Y. <laughs> I eat chickens, broccoli, and drink milk. I also eat bananas and. <laughs> oh my god! Spaghetti! <laughs> S-P-E-G-E-T-Y. <laughs> Sp 
Spaghetti. Spaghetti. <laughs> My favorite drink is milk because it tastes good. Also, I like like to eat pizza because that makes my body feel better. 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 <laughs> <laughs> my body likes when I feed it healthy food. It likes it because I get healthy too. I like to eat all of my favorite food cuz cuz C U Z. <laughs> Because <laughs> they're all healthy. I like to eat lots of different kinds of food. Another food I like are watermelons. Melons. That is what I do to make my body he healthier. H-E-L-L-F-Y-E-R. Healthier. <laughs> healthier. Oh, my God. Cuz. Cuz. Oh, my God, I just said cuz. <laughs> the illustration for this one is me laying on my bed, but my feet are like dangling <laughs> off the bed. Like a lot. Like, like, so much. Like you're nine feet tall. Oh my god. Mm. <clears throat> Something I'm excited about is summer. In the summer, I go to Disney World. Disney World is a fun place to go. I will wear a Mickey hat at Disney. I, uh, I other year I think I want to Disney. <laughs> I like to go to Disney because there's a ho a, a whole tell. I it looks really oh. nice in the whole tell. The whole tell also has a nice TV. <laughs> Disney World is just like Cape Cod, but what? Disney has rides. <laughs> I wish I could sleep at Disney every night. That is what I'm so excited about. It's just like Cape Cod, but there's no rides. <laughs> but there's rides. Oh, God. Okay, this one looks like it might be fun. You want to read it? Sure. I don't think the pages are connected, but... That's fine. Okay. So, um, the drawing for this one is a little bit cryptic. Um, <laughs> it's, uh, <laughs> I just see, like, this, I think something, and it says this awesome. This say awesome. awesome. And then there's someone holding a card that says They're Pokemon tall cards. feet hand. Oh, <laughs> tall feet hand, and then heart swap heat. No, no, this is something I used to do for Pokemon. I would draw them, and I would label their body parts. It says tail, <laughs> feet, and hand. <laughs> hand. Okay, so sometimes I wish I had a thousand Pokemon cards. My favorite card is Manaphy. Manaphy. It's supposed to be Manaphy, but it says Manaphy. Manaphy and Mew. I got over 300 or 200 cards. Or, I don't know. <laughs> um, I like how I started with a larger number. <laughs> I like Pokemon <clears throat> cards because they're awesome. Wrong. They're awesome is spelled A some. <laughs> uh, Creatures. <laughs> creatures? I mean creatures. <laughs> One Pokemon is called Eevee and can evolve into seven different Pokemon. My Pokemon cards all go through, uh, all go in pack, but like the teacher had no idea what you were saying. They just circled it question mark. And then my dad said if I hit a home run in baseball, I get four packs of Pokemon. I watch Pokemon all the time. I wish I could have a lot of Pokemon movies. Movies. I was like, what? It says noobs. <laughs> Two. Sometime I talk about Pokemon in my journal. You spelled journal right, didn't you? No. Yeah. No. Journal. <laughs> How you? Um, that is what I wish I had. Okay. <clears throat> I love that every every like child wraps it up and they're like. And that's what I wish I had. <laughs> nice details, Cameron. Yeah, what? <laughs> oh, that's that's at a zoo with oh, the, the with the, the little like the prairie whatever prairie is, dogs. and you can like look up. Okay, <clears throat> so this is called the Summer Vacation by Cameron Asmussen. This is from two thousand. Well, I was seven wrap, when I wrote this. We should this. wrap it up with that. Yeah. Okay. This, this is the last. Fun. This is the last story we're gonna read. Um, I might take pictures of some funny pictures I have and throw them in every now and then while we're reading just to, like, keep it interesting. 
Um, <clears throat> I love that one. We have to look at that one next. What the one. very hungry kindergartner? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Here we'll read. We'll read that one now because I feel like this one's a lot more fun and interesting. So this one's called The Very Hungry Kindergartner, and it's The Very Hungry Caterpillar, but my face is over it. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> One Sunday, I woke up, and I was a very hungry kindergartner. One Monday, I ate one toosie roll, <laughs> but I was still hungry. On Tuesday, I ate two M plus M's, but I was still hungry. <laughs> On Wednesday, I ate three slices of cake, but I was still That's a hungry. Big jump. On Thursday, yeah, one Tootsie Roll, two M&Ms, three slices of cake. On Thursday, I ate four dirt cups, but I was still hungry. That's so funny because there's some people that are going to listen to this and be like, what's a dirt cup? <laughs> yeah. On Friday, I ate five gummy worms, but I was still hungry. All right, that, that downgrade. On Saturday, I ate through one chocolate. Chocolate 10 ice cream. Okay. Chocolate is spelled C H O C L I T. And ice cream ice is right, but cream is spelled C R Y M E. And Rhyme. 20 <laughs> Chicken gets <laughs> Chicken gets Chicken is spelled C H I C I N. And nuggets is just N G I T S. Chicken gets. And apostrophe gets. 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 Okay, that's that. You just love two pages blank. <coughs> okay. 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 This one's really good. Uh, I might have a trouble with some of the words because on the last, on the back of the last two pages, it's really faded. But it's called the summer vacation. There's no no illustrations except for the front page. Tragic. In a small house, there was a boy named Cameron and his sister Ava. He loved his mom and dad. Cameron lived in Milford, CT, and want <laughs> to be a big school. <laughs> You're a big school now, Cameron. <laughs> he, he going to be eight in October 29, 2008. His favorite cartoons are about a pup named Scooby-Doo and Ben 10. One day he heard he had a vacation. He was so excited he could not wait. My vacation is going to be so fun, he said to his mother. There was all... There was only four days until the vacation. Three days later, he remembered his vacation. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we can go to the beach or the zoo, he said to his dad. The vacation is going to be fun. His, uh, the vacation is going to be fun, his dad said. We can go to the beach and the zoo. <laughs> the next day in the afternoon... Cameron saw his mom in the kitchen. She said, your teacher was wrong about the vacation. <laughs> Cameron was sad because he liked vacations. His mom said, we'll have another vacation someday. I was so excited about my vacation, said Cameron. He told his dad he did not have a vacation. I love vacations so much, said Cameron. <clears throat> the next day, he... He went to school and and asked his teacher if he had if he had have a vacation <laughs> <clears throat> i don't oh she, she said i don't know you might <laughs> he really wanted her to say that he did have a vacation my vacation is ruined he said <laughs> I really wanted a vacation, he said. Cameron Cameron was sad. He could he could not stay at school. Uh their teacher found out something amazing. Hey everyone, guess what? You do have a vacation. Every, every, everyone said, we do? Yes, you do have a summer vacation. 
<laughs> the bell rang and everyone ran out of school. Cameron told his mom and dad that he had vacation. Summer vacation. Cameron loved the place that they went on their vacation. Oh, ah. <laughs> uh, then it just says, like, we went to the beach and the zoo. Um, it's really faded. I can't read it. My two favorite parts about that is that she's like, uh, the day at, she's like, mm, I mean, Your yeah. teacher was wrong. You don't have a vacation. <laughs> and then you're like, do you have a vacation? She's like, I don't know, you might. <laughs> I don't know, you might. <laughs> I was oh going to say, I think God. that's a good place to wrap it up. And then I'm going to bring my stuff next time. Uh, I can bring in the, some of the rest of the stuff. I'll pick fewer things. Yeah, and we could always just focus on that, too. <laughs> My parents tell me to never go in the street without looking because you will get hit. <laughs> <laughs> street is S R E T E, and without is two words with and then O W T. Mm -hmm. That's how you spell it. My parents tell me never to run around in the store because you will get lost. My parents tell this is like a cult thing. <laughs> My parents so tell weird. me never to drink ale. Ale? <laughs> Your parents are like, don't drink ale. My parents tell me never to... My parents tell me never to write on paper because they might have to bring it to their school. What? They might have to bring it to work? I'm no, their school. <laughs> don't ever All right. <clears throat> Oh, oh, okay. This is the, just the last. This is the last thing. Last, last uh, thing. No, it's not one of them, but it's something I did on a lot of them, where I would draw my family, and I would have Cam, Ava, and then Mom and Bob. <laughs> <laughs> well, you said I probably did. I probably did it because it's like it's a th another three letter word that like he's called by. Yeah, but also maybe because your mom called him Bob. That's what I thought. Maybe like because I, I always went to his um basketball games and everyone called him like <laughs> the coach called Bob. him Bob. <laughs> like yeah, Cameron, stepdad. Ava, Mom, and Bob. <laughs> like he's like he's your stepdad. Yeah, it was so weird. Wait. There it is. <laughs> she looks like Sam. Oh, this is just A C M B. B camp. B camp. Big camp. So good. Okay, well, thanks for tuning into this episode, guys. Uh, this is episode 10. Um, it's Thank really cool. Man. All of you, like, viewers who have listened through all of these. It's really fun for us to make these. Uh, I hope it's just as fun to listen to it, um, because sometimes we're just talking and, like, you can't see it, so that's why we're going to add in the photos to make this a little bit better. But um, I hope we see you guys all soon in episode 11. Yep. So, see you guys soon, and have a great day. Bye! Bye.